Hi, this is Randy Finney with Right Side of the Chart, and today is Monday, November 6, 2017. This is part two of hopefully two videos, if I can get all these in here, on the cannabis stocks uh, going through my watch list. I've already covered the first, I don't know, 14, 15 or so uh, in the previous video, and we're going to pick up here with emc.v, the V indicating that that trades on the uh, Canadian Venture Exchange. Uh, there it is. Stock is down at support. Looks like it offers an objective entry here around the 160 level. Uh, we have divergence, not drawn out here, but you can see the PPO and the RSI making uh, higher lows against prices, making a slightly lower low. Just recently undercut that uh, support and regained it. So uh, that one looks good all the way up to, uh, you know, we have some resistance here around 175. Uh, so up to about 207. And keep in mind, as I was just going over this chart, and I mentioned this in the previous video, a lot of these stocks trade on both a, uh, as one of the Canadian exchanges as well as the U.S. So I covered this one in the previous video under EMMBF for you, the U.S. traders. And that's why the charts are almost identical. So uh, again, this is for the uh, Canadian traders here. TRTC up next. Uh, this one looks good. A nice downtrend line breakout. Uh, took out this 222.2245 resistance level today, and all of these are potential targets up there. Uh, MCOA Marijuana Company of America, a nice well-defined downtrend line. You can see it there, numerous reactions. So here's one that hasn't yet broken out. Uh, we have resistance just overhead at about three cent, the three cent level. Uh, next uh, target, there's a reaction. Let me change that line down there, and let me add another line right here. Uh, you can see a couple just target these previous reaction highs. But ultimately, if this one breaks out, I could see it uh, moving up here at about the uh, six cent share level. And that's more than a double from where we're at right now. APHQF, APRIA, APRIA Corp, or APRIA Inc. Uh, that is, uh, here's another one uh, now challenging its previous highs from back in, uh, looks like earlier this year, back in mid April. Uh, so it already failed there once, pulled back, and it's making a run at the another uh, another attempt at uh, breaking out to all-time highs, uh, which of course of course would be bullish if that sticks. Uh, EMHTF Emerald Health Therapeutics. Mm. It had resistance here. There's the previous reaction high right there, but this is resistance and it's making a run at it now. Not one of my favorites. GRNH. Um, this one, you could draw this downtrend line. I'm not crazy about it. There's not a lot of reactions, uh, but I do like the fact it regained this point, uh, zero, uh, point zero three eight six level, which was support in the past. We had a little washout move and we're back above that level. Uh, not one of my favorites, but maybe a bottoming play here if you want to put a stop below the recent lows. HMJ, HMMJTO, that's uh, trades on the Toronto Exchange. This is the uh, ETF, and there's also a, a, a shares that trade. The same ETF also trades on the U.S. Exchange under a different ticker. Uh, not a lot of charting history to go by, so let me just move on from that one. THCX.V, Canadian Venture Exchange. Uh, this one looks pretty good. It's it's been a clear uptrend. Took out this downtrend line before. There's some divergence right now. Potential divergence. The PPO is pointing up, so it's only potential divergence. You can see uh, the RSI and the PPO making a lower high. But there's a lot of momentum in the sector, and the divergence could be burned through. But either way, I wouldn't chase it here. Uh, it's gotten a little little ahead of itself, and it's coming up on this previous reaction high. So let me move on to that one. Not one of my favorites at this time. ATTBF. Uh, this one looks well, to be honest with you, it's in no man's land, what I call no man's land. That means it's between resistance and support right in the middle. Uh, so I can't really make a case for an objective long entry there. EAPH, Eastern Pharmaceuticals. Uh, this one has is dancing. This is a very well-defined support level. Look at all the reactions back here. Look at all the reactions here. And it's come on to that level again and has successfully defended it. Uh, I'd have to mark this chart up a little bit more, but these lines that I had here before, that's about two and a half cent share level uh, where my first target would be, and then about three cents. Uh, and the stock is at uh, uh, 0 0.022 now. OGRMF, Organogram Holdings. Uh, mm, I do see my next target is up here, the next resistance level around 271. 
Um, looks okay. It had a support here, which was form of resistance around 223, and it took that out. We came in, back tested it, went a little bit below it a few days, but overall we held. And uh, so if that level holds, you can buy it here around the 223 level with a stop somewhat below those recent lows, about uh, 2.1, we'll call it 212 and uh, target that 271 level and then ultimately this high here around 328 again i'd like to see a little more momentum in this sector uh and a few more of these stocks break out those that are testing resistance right now or any downtrend lines and that would help add to the case so otherwise this just may prove to be a fleeting uh dead cat bounce you know within a larger uh, correction in the, the cannabis sector uh, this is just another uh, variation. This one, same company, Organogram, trading on the Canadian Venture Exchange. So you can see the next target up there, about 353. Uh, I don't see a whole lot on that chart that stands out. This one, you're at support right now with your next target up here, about $1.44. That's SPRWF. CGRW, Canagro Holdings, mm, not one of my favorite, but this was a pretty significant level here. You can see how it acted as resistance back here. Once the stock broke that resistance level, it shot up like a rocket and uh, has since been uh, pulling back down, all the way back down to and just below that level, but has since regained it. Uh, so you can take a shot at it if you wanted to. Again, a lot of these are speculative trades, very aggressive, it's penny stock. Um, but if you had a you know stop below that 0.62 level and this one does hold that level and ever comes even close to any of these previous targets i had you're talking huge gain potential you know up to that 141 level that's about a 92 almost a double on the stock if it gets back to 229 level 211 percent and if it revisits those old highs that's uh 373 percent MJN.V, Pharmacan Capital Corp, it's again, Canadian Venture Exchange when you have the dot .V. Uh, this one's challenging. It's testing its previous uh, all-time highs. Uh, so a break of that level, break of the previous reaction high where it failed uh, would certainly be bullish. Uh, and if not, if you want to look for an objective stop level, you could draw a downtrend line right there. If that downtrend line goes, the next support is about 246. CNBX, Cannabix, Pharmaceuticals, downtrend line, it's trying to pop above. You can see the levels, I'm not crazy about that downtrend line uh, or this stock, uh, so I'll just move on from there. GWPH, GW Pharmaceuticals, uh, it's been it had, the stock has been uh, uh, testing or respecting, I should say, this uh, uptrend line for a while, a lot of reactions. So uh, ideally, this is a, an objective level if it comes back to that downtrend line with a stop somewhat below. You also have horizontal support not too far below. And uh, you can see if we add a line here, this is where it stalled recently. So you want to see it pop above those previous reaction highs and then any uh, or both of these targets, 123 and 133.55 are, are your next target levels. I uh, don't have much there. Don't like that one. Uh, don't see a lot there. ERBB, eh, not crazy about it. This is a super low price, one tenth of one percent. Uh, there's downtrend lines. Sure, this one rips and flies when it goes, but it's a very thinly traded stock. Either way, it's down around support. This is a support zone, these two lines here. It did break above this downtrend line, but not with any conviction. So I'm, I'll move on from there. Uh, not crazy about that one. Vape, you eh, had a downtrend line, not a great you know, super well defined or anything like that, but we broke out, back tested, and seemed to be moving uh, higher at least over for the last couple months in a in a mild uptrend, not very powerful. And if you you go along this one, you have these lows back here from 2016. Uh, that would be your support level. So this one may want to come back down and revisit those lows. Usually, when you see a stock get that close. Uh, those previous lows are like a magnet and you're going to go on to either test it or even probably as commonly, if not more commonly, uh, you, you'll you overshoot it. You'll come down, take out, slightly undercut those lows, wash out a lot of the weak hands, and then boom, then the stock will reverse. So that's one scenario to look for on vape. CNAB, well, there's a previous reaction low. Looks like it's holding that level so far. If it holds it, great. If not, uh, it's probably headed lower. Not one of my favorites, but uh, you could certainly take a shot there if you wanted to. INSY, mm, nothing there that I like. POTN, Pot Network Holdings. Uh, 
well, you can see resistance. There's a trend line. Stock's been moving sideways. Nothing exciting there. Let's move on. CBDS, uh, cannabis sativa, uh, pretty pretty well defined downtrend line right there. So you might want to set a price alert on a break above this downtrend line. Targets here are 330. Next target about 387. And I should add another line right here. I can see uh, some resistance there. And that comes in about 483. AMMJ, American Cannabis Company. There's some support there. It held that support level about 52. Um, as it could work its way back up here about the dollar, one, 105 level over time. Oversold. Last time it was oversold was right here. And you can see what happened from that point. We'll draw it out for you. Uh, this was the last oversold level here. And then before that, we were oversold right here. And as I always say, oversold in itself isn't a buy signal, but it gives you a good idea when a stock has, may have bottomed. And in this case, we go back two years, we've only had four oversold readings and all those previous readings. Although this one, uh, that was a bottom. It never came that low again, but it traded sideways for months. So again, they're not exact timing indicators, uh, but it kind of gives you an idea when you might want to step in, especially if you can confirm with some other things. In this case, like I said, this one has successfully defended the 52 uh, cent support level so far that acted as resistance back here as well as support, support here. Next up, AERO, AeroGrow International, uh, pretty pretty significant support level. So here's one you can buy at support. Uh, you had uh, support back here, all these reactions, uh, this level. So it's really a mo more of a support zone, this shaded area. And we're now getting close to the bottom of that support zone. Not the best looking chart, but again, in this sector, if you want, if there's momentum, you step in. All you all you can do in trading this sector is look for objective entries. An objective are either breakouts of resistance, such as a downtrend line or a bullish chart pattern, um, or a horizontal resistance level, or you buy a pullback to support and you put a stop not too far below that. Not one of my favorite, again, but uh, one worth mentioning. EDXC. Uh, Index Corp, mm, not crazy about that chart. ACAN, American Inc, nothing there to see really. I, IPR, this is a REIT. I think they must rent uh, uh, two, two companies in the cannabis industry. I don't know exactly what they do. So it's not a pure play. Let's move on. ENRT, uh, can't tell you that I'm crazy about that downtrend line because there's not a lot of reactions. It's also thinly traded. You can tell by those funky looking candles. Uh, but there it is. You can look at it there. I should also move this level up here. There's resistance. So if it takes out the downtrend line, also look for it to take out resistance about five cents. If it takes that out, then I can tell you these targets are pretty clear. We have resistance here. First target about 6.7 cents and then about 8.65. Kara, this is one of my old favorites. Um, you know, this was a swing trade idea on the site, an official trade. I believe it was an official trade. Uh, and, you know, culminated, had a heck of a run. The stock got ahead of itself, went from, you know, the low fours all the way up to $29 or so a share, almost $29. And that terminated with a, or yeah, terminated with a divergent high. And it's been in a corrective phase since. I think it still looks good longer term. You know, I've been watching this one closely. If it gets down here to the 991 level, that would be a nice area to step in. It may, may not. has potential push divergence here on the uh, PPO. Um, but so far, we're not just not seeing any compelling reason to buy. However, I'll keep an eye on this downtrend line. A break above that downtrend line uh, would be certainly an early buy signal on that stock. And then you can see some of the resistance levels. I may have to clean this chart up and modify those levels a bit. NTEC in Tech Pharma. Uh, Mm, not that much there that I can really make from this chart. Uh, MCIG, MSIG. I'd have to update this a little bit. I don't see a lot that there was a downtrend line. It was taken out, but the stock has since moved lower. Uh, we have some support a little bit lower. Uh, this one has some work to do. CCAN, Canadian Cannabis. Um, mm, some divergence in the place, but I'm not crazy about that one. DEWM, this one I do like, um, have a position, a long-term position in this one, Dumar International. And you can see 
we have a downtrend line here. Now the stock has attempted to break above it, but we haven't yet closed above it. We had one close slightly above it, but not close enough. You need to see this one break above this downtrend line, take it out, take it out on conviction with volume, and of course move above these previous reaction highs here around, where is that, uh, about 0 0.0055. And if it does that, that one looks good to up until, I should give you a target right here, early target, first target would be about uh, 0 0.0075. ACCA, nothing there. CBIS, all right, I think we've gone through the list. Yeah, this is the one I started on the previous video. Okay, this has been Randy Finney with Right Side of the Chart. 